Okay, when you have that, the other instrument goes really easy because they're just mic one signal for each instrument. You don't have relationship with the with another microphone for the same signal. So, for example, for bass, I just do the same, cut a little bit of the low end to protect the, the system sometimes or for noises that you don't like. You can try to find frequencies that you don't like on the instrument. And you could. What I do for bass, at least, is I compress a lot for bass because in mostly of the bass, I, I don't know if you have played it before or you have listened it, but what some, some basses are not so good. So when the bass player just play an A, that's, that note sounds like overwhelming and then he play a G and that note doesn't sound at all. So that's very annoying. So that is why I mostly of the time I just compress the bass a lot to, because the bass is like I, I told you is in the middle of the rhythm and the harmony. So you need to be like really consistent with the song. So with the with the bass I use something different in the compressor. There is another parameter called me that is when you fix the ratio when you choose the ratio and the threshold, the knee is how how hard it's like it's correlative with the with the ratio will be the compression. So the knee will help you to compress before before the signal surpass the threshold. If I put a hard knee, it will mean that the the base has to cross the threshold to start to compress but if I use a soft knee it will be compressed before. So I always use a really soft knee to catch the notes really early and then I start to compress like six decibels are like average. So you can make each note like really really consistent with the others that is what I do with bass at least easy so then with keyboards uh, keyboards in general sounds really good like they are if there is a good keyboard in this case I think it was a Nord stage 2 it sounds really good I just could uh, you can link it in this case the number is not correlative so I can do that uh, to no I can't do that but in mostly of the time I just cut low frequencies to protect the system and because I want that the low frequencies are played are, are reproduced by the low instruments so I could in a hundred or in a hundred twenty in each one and mostly mostly of the time that is enough to the mix So there is a another keyboard, this is a synth, it's made in pads, so it's pretty much like the same as the last one. I will cut low end. If you have a keyboard that has frequencies that are bothering you or they are annoying, you just cut it in the same way that they did with it before.
Then electric guitars. Well, this was a, a lot really hard because one you can feel one of the guitars is having like a lot of the drums. So it both of them has to be treated like a treatment really different. So we are gonna do the same just to the equalizer. We are gonna cut the low end. There is a frequency that I don't like. And for guitars, I made a mix between what I do with the bass and with percussion. It's like not so fast, not so slow, and compressing a little bit to make the notes like consistent. I use a 4 to 1 ratio. I know a tad so fast because I don't want to cut the transient, but I want to keep a constant compression and I compress like 3 dBs and then you recover 2 dBs or something like that this guitar was in a really good position of the microphone for this sample so can feel like just the compression making something and it was on the left side of the stage so I will push it like really hard and you put the rest of the instrument The other guitar, I'm really sure that we have, we will have a lot of troubles here. Same. Low cut. You can feel it. You could hold the, the bass sound in there. should be the position and the amp has a lot of low mids and that they are really annoying so I will just cut a lot now when we were talking about the human ear I mentioned you that uh, we are designed like to listen some kind of frequencies and the central one are one kilohertz or one thousand and between like one thousand and four thousand are like mostly of the presence of the frequency that we listen better so when you want to have more presence in a signal in a mix Sometimes you can push one of those presents so your ear can feel it better. So to make it more clear, this guitar in this case, we are going to cut low end a little bit more. And we are going to push between one or four kilos. So you can give more presence to the instrument. 
then you compress very same as the other cases. Mm -hmm. 